Welcome to Chapter 6 of the How to Guide GPS video series. In this video, we'll be looking at how to import, export, and share data. Whether it's a single waypoint, a folder of waypoints and routes, or all of your Gaia GPS data, that information can be stored in a file. And we're going to look at how to create those files, how to use those files, and we'll also look at a way to share your Gaia GPS information with a feature that's built into the Gaia GPS website. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at how to import a file. Over on the left-hand side here in the menu, we have Import Data. And then we have a big green button that says Select Files. Right above that, you see the file types that can be used. The most common ones being GPX and KML files. So I'm going to hit Select Files. And I've already downloaded this GPX file here from the web. And that contains some routes in the Mojave Desert. So I'm going to select that and then hit Upload. So here we have the seven items, which are root sections that you see colored right here. And I'm going to save those seven items. And that's going to end up as its own folder right within the root folder or your main folder. And it's going to automatically title it with the file name that you had. So here we have the actual seven items, which are just seven sections of a loop inside Mojave Desert. So if we go back here into my root folder, here we have that folder that was created. Now we learned this in previous videos, but I'm gonna rename this to Mojave and then hit save. And then I can move this folder to where I want it to be. In my case, I'm gonna put it into California Southern. So now I have it where I want it. And that's how to import a file, pretty easy. Now let's take a look at how to export your own file. Let's say I'm trying to back up my entire California folder. So I'm going to click into that folder and right here in the bottom half, I have export. And if I click that, it's going to let me choose what file type I want. We have GPX KML and GOJSON. So from what I understand, GPX files will store the most amount of information for you. That's typically what you're going to use. KML files are generally associated with Google Maps and Google Earth. And then the GeoJSON file type is primarily for analytics. So I'm just going to do a GPX file. So for how I have my browser and computer set up, it automatically downloaded that GPX file into my default downloads folder. And there it is, California.gpx. So now you can store that file locally for your own backup or upload it somewhere to share it, or you can even email that file to someone. Okay, now let's take a look at the built-in feature for how to share your information. We're still in the California folder here, and down here on the menu is the share feature. And if I click that, it says share URL copied to clipboard. Now I have a URL copied and I can paste that wherever I want, whether you're emailing it to somebody or texting it to them or whatever. And just to demonstrate what that looks like, I'm going to open a private browsing window where I'm not logged into Gaia GPS. And I'm going to paste that URL right in the address bar there and go to it. So that's going to open that folder that I have, which is California. All of my data for California is within there. I'm going to skip and get rid of this window and close this one down here. And whether or not the person you're giving that URL to is a Gaia GPS user or not, they are able to click export down here and create a GPX or KML file or whatever they want for themselves to use in whatever service that they use. So if you're just sharing some of this stuff to somebody you know, you don't necessarily have to export that GPX file yourself and then upload it to some file sharing service for them to download. And if you're giving this URL to another Gaia GPS user, they would be able to save the information directly once they're logged into Gaia GPS. Okay, I'm going to close this private browsing window now, and we're going to look at one more thing on the web version of Gaia GPS here. Another way to share your information is to make it publicly accessible to everybody. So let's keep using this California folder for our example. I'm going to open the details page right here, and then as soon as that loads, we see this little padlock icon right here that says private. If you click that, it turns it to public. Now. Everything that's stored within that California folder is literally publicly accessible to anybody who wants to look at it, as long as they have the right overlay settings on. And I'm going to change that back to private now. Let's take a look at how to do a couple of these things in the mobile app. Okay, in the mobile app version, we're going to go to our saved items folder. And again, I'm going to use the California folder as our example. Right near the top in the middle there is the share button. 
And if I hit that, we have some different options than we saw on the web version. We can add collaborators, we can share a URL link, or we can export the file. So if I hit add collaborators, we're gonna be able to email a single person or multiple people with the same message, and they're gonna be able to either edit or just view the California folder that I'm sending them. I'm gonna hit cancel and then go back. So if I hit share link, it's gonna do a pop-up on the iPhone. I don't know what it does on the Android, probably something similar. I'll be able to text that URL to somebody or email them through my own email app or whatever you wanna do with that URL. All right, let me X out of that. And then finally at the bottom is export file. Again, I'm gonna choose GPX. And just like earlier, it's based on whether you have an iPhone or Android or whatever, you'll be able to text people or save it locally to your phone. And that's pretty much it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? If you wanna try importing a GPX file for yourself, I put a Gaia Share URL in the description for you to try out. Next time, we'll be taking a look at how to actually use the Gaia GPS mobile app when you're out and about. Until then, thank you for watching. This is Roger reminding you that destinations don't matter, their journey matters, and that sharing is caring. See you next time.